Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So I actually have owed everyone many videos for a while now and I am genuinely really sorry about that. Life has just kind of been a little crazy on my end but things are gonna start to ramp back up with the videos and I hope to be getting some really good content. Hopefully really exciting stuff to you all very very soon. But first thing is first is I owe a video on the goblet housing section and kind of like a review on that. So if you're not too familiar with that I have done lavender beds, I have done shiragane, and I have done the mists kind of like a housing review, kind of in preparation for the Housing Savage. That, that's what I call when they opened up the additional three wards. And just kind of like see like what do some of these houses offer and like maybe you'd want to pick up one of these if they open up. But yeah, again, I am like super duper sorry about the delay and yeah, I've just been like wondering like, oh, should I ramp up with streaming or what should I do? Anyhow. I need to get to this video at the point of it faster, so so I'm going to be rating the houses based on three primary scales. First of all, it's going to be the environment, so kind of like what kind of in like amenities do you have near you? Do you have like pools? Do you have trees? Do you have flower beds? Do you have like little sections with seats? Do you have like a view of like a castle or something or like a windmill? And then the second one is going to be on market board access, so kind of like how close are you to a market board? Because a lot of us are really into crafting or kind of like sell stuff. I mean, you don't really need to be a crafter to want to have like access to the market board because I mean, even people who are like super against crafting are like still running to the market board just like, oh, I'm just going to throw this gill at them. So it's kind of like, how convenient is it to access the market board? Like, is are you going to have to walk like a super far distance or not? And believe it or not, like, at least in my experience, I found like houses that I had that were like super far away from the market board actually kind of annoying because it's like, yeah, one or two trips seems okay. But when you have like the same house for like months or years on end, it gets kind of ter tiring. And then we have lastly the isolation. Because people can really mess with your view when you have a house. Say you have a house in a beautiful area. And you have a Paisa house looking right at you with Graham and Amazu. Do not tell me. Don't tell me that that doesn't impact the house because it totally does. And that is actually why I chose the house I did. And talking about housing savage in this video I went after a very particular house for very particular reasons and yes it is actually the goblet and I'm gonna go over my reasoning for that very shortly <laughs> so as per usual we are gonna be starting with the large plots going from plot 5 to 13 and 30 then we're going to go into the mediums with 4 6 8 11 12 19 and then ending off the video with plot 25 but here is where I need to talk about the goblet kind of in a more broad, like, kind of like spectrum. Like, why did I not really cover the goblet before and why am I covering it now? So, the goblet was definitely the least requested video of mine to, like, cover because people were just like, oh, the goblet, oh, I don't want to be there. And just, like, weren't really, like, feeling the vibes. They were just like, eh, that's not important. Just cover Shiroganish, cover Mist, cover Lavender Beds, like, cover anything else other than the goblet. And I'm like, okay, I mean, I, it's like, it, it definitely has a stigma to it, I think is the point that I want to get to. It's just like a lot of people are just like, oh, I've heard about this housing district and it's just like, I'm not really that into it. And it's just like, I don't want to be in like, a, like kind of like boring, bland, sandy, dusty area. But you know what, I don't think that that actually gives this housing area enough credit because I think that there are definitely a lot of really great traits about it. And actually as someone who has picked their house, and I literally did pick this, this was actually my number one. Like if you went and saw my Housing Savage video where like you had to plan everything, this was actually my number one picked house and I'm honestly so thankful that I got it. But like I think that I can speak to why I like it. So I am an old school player of games like Final Fantasy Tactics, like the original one, and like I just find it very castly themed, very, it gave me those like old school Ivalis feels, or Ivalis feels? Yeah, let's go with Ivalis feels, and I was just like, I just liked it, it was just like, it felt like this dusty kind of like barren kind of castle vibe, and I really kind of liked that. Not to mention like if you're in the Brimming Heart, you get like the only man-made pools in the game like yeah the mist has a beach absolutely shiragane does too uh, there's no denying that but you know what this is the only one where you get like these massive like very decadent very extravagant man-made structures and pools here and i think that that's really cool 
Also, as someone who is in Canada near the Rockies, I have to say that I have a huge affinity to the mountains, and there's no denying that when you're looking over here, you get this huge mountainscape, and I think that's really cool. It's not something that you usually, like, see in games, and so to have, like, that massive vista is something that I really do enjoy. And then, like, kind of looking up into the distance, you see, like, this giant castle vibe. Yet again, we're kind of, like, playing into that old-school, like, castle vibes with, like, Final Fantasy Tactics, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Not to mention when I see, like, this windmill turning and, like, it rains. Yeah, Zelda Song of Storms vibes, bang on, 100%. And I love it. I like honestly like when it's raining and I see this windmill just turning I am Absolutely living that fantasy and I love it And kind of like speaking to that castle vibe. It's just like it's all like man-made castle structures Like it's just like around my personal plot like you get a lot of these like towers and man-made structures around it And I really find that super cool I mean, that might not be the coolest thing to everyone, but I really find, like, the architecture, the geometry, and, like, all of this, like, being sculpted out really cool. Not to mention, you are kind of literally on a cliffside, like, everywhere. It's like, I... If you really hate an FC member, you know that you're gonna fly <laughs> them over the side. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but you know that FC member, that one FC member that you love, but, oh, god. Yeah fling them. Uh, and I just, I really find that, like, the aesthetic's kind of appealing. It's just like, yeah, you don't have, like, this, these over-decadent, like, pools and flowers just everywhere, but you know what? You're trading that in for a lot of mountains. You're trading it in for that windmill. You're trading it in for that, like, crazy man-made, like, water area. And I like it. I have to say that I really like the vibes that I'm getting here. And so I think that this is actually a highly, highly, highly underrated area that I think that a lot more people should actually give a chance. I mean, are some plots better than others? Yeah. Are some plots very, 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 very bad? A few. A few, unfortunately. But you know what? I think that for most of these plots that they actually... Are really pretty good the ones that I'm gonna cover in here at least the largest and mediums there's some smalls that I looked at and I'm like eh, but I think that those are few and far between even in the goblet so without further ado now that I've kind of explained like the appeal and the aesthetic let's get into the video and so our first house is plot 5 and if you want a quick rundown environment is a 7 the market board access is a 9, and isolation is a 4 for a total score of 20, so that's actually pretty good. But let's get into the reasoning of why. So let's start off with the environment. So you are getting basically to, like, your side, or rather behind your house, you're getting like this view to this like kind of like circular like pathway walkway area. And actually that's something that I need to also say about like the goblet, is that one enhancement that they could really make that would make this really cool is tapping into Ulda's lore. Because you have all these traveling merchants coming in, and maybe you could have, like, a caravan walking up and down these paths and, like, delivering goods and, like, really tap into that. I think that that would be really cool. But anyhow, since there are no NPCs, though, you still do get this cool, like, path here. And then, as well, you get a fantastic view of the mountainscape. You have a view of that massive, massive falling path. You have basically your own personal bridge and like this private pathway. I mean, if, if I'm being honest, you have a lot of RP fodder. Like if you're really into like the role playing aspect, just being like, oh, we are the house that like defends the goblet from like intruders. I mean, you can definitely live that fantasy. I definitely can see it here. It's just like you to get past this gate, you'll get past this first gate. But you won't get past us. I, 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 I love it and I can see it. I really can see it at this point. And then with that little walkway around your house that leads eventually into like this actual underground tunnel, you can also be like, oh, we're also going to like police this underground tunnel. And you know what? I know for the people out there in my fan base that are like super hardcore into like roleplay, you are going to love that. And then further into it, like in the environment, you get this like little like market board access area here where you have like your own little cactus, little shrubbery, kind of like uh, planters. I, uh, planters isn't really the word I'm looking for, but you know what I mean. Like you are getting like a lot of this like desert flower fantasy, and I think that that's really cool. As well as like if you're in Ulda, you know how big the market is, and so having your little market area with like all these cactuses here, these lanterns and all that, 
I think it's really cool. Actually, that's one thing that I do like also about like the environment of the goblin in general is like you have all these man-made structures, like you have the bridges, you have like these lanterns, and I think that it is so cool to walk around and just be like, oh yeah, these man-made lanterns. And I digress though, but I think that it's really cool. Another thing about the environment is that you definitely get your own little walkway up here with kind of like these like standing seating areas around them. And so that definitely, definitely, definitely is like a perk of this house. And I think that that actually contributes to isolation a lot, but we're going to get to that one after. But the fact is you have your own little walkway here. And so it just feels a little more elevated, a little more prestigious. <laughs> I mean, I feel silly saying it, but it does. And yeah, I just really definitely find the environment on this one. If you're going for mountains, if you're going for the RP of like being like the officers defending there, you're gonna love it. I mean, you even see trees like hanging off the cliff just being like, hey there, bro, I'm a tree. <laughs> I, I kind of really like it. I do like that. And then next off in terms of market board access, basically you just sachet or sissy that walk down here. <laughs> And then you raid at the market board. It is super duper duper close. And having your own little market board area here, I think that that's cool. I, I, I mean, it's just, it's not something that you'll get with every house where you have like this fleshed out market board area. But with this house, you get it. You even have benches all around. I mean, if you want to live that fantasy and like your FC is super into roleplay, like this is going to be hit. This is definitely going to be hit. And finally, let's get into isolation. For isolation... This house, you have to realize, is pretty close to being in the middle of the houses, but I think that the developers really took their time and patience when they developed this housing area in particular, because there are not a lot of houses that I feel are so destroyed by how intrusive all the houses are that they are just flat out zeros on this score. I mean, yeah, there are some low scores to come, but this isn't one. For a house that has so many houses all around it, other than for like the mountain view, I think that this has really a lot of features that make it good for isolation. First off, you have your own pathway up there. Then you're right beside this market board area that is fully clear. And then you have like this other side that is just blank view of like all these like paths in the mountains and that. And I think that that's really good. And in terms of isolation, you are also elevated from all the other houses other than this one house, but meh. And you just hope that this one neighbor doesn't go a Paisa house, but even then you're kind of like facing like the side and back of it. I I mean, it would be intrusive for sure if they put like a pile of Gram and Nemesis here, but I really don't think that would be the end of the world. And so in terms of isolation, I can't say that it's bad. I really don't think that it's bad at all. I mean, for a house that is like pretty in the thick of it, I think that is pretty good. And so again, for this house, I uh, just kind of going over everything, the environment, I'm giving a good score of seven. I think that the environment is definitely something that if you are into like the RP fantasies, if you are into like the underground tunnels, if you are into the caravan passageways, trees on the edge of mountains and all that, I think you'll really love this. Uh, actually, let's bump that up to an eight. I changed my mind. Let's bump that up to an eight because you know, if you're into that, you're going to be really into that. And then market board is going to be a nine because it's so close. And then isolation is, it's like, I, it's not bad as I was saying before, but still not great. And so I'm going to be giving it only a four here. And so that's going to lead to a total score of 21. Okay, now we are in the danger zone for me, at least. Plot 13, the large that I personally chose. And so... Little to say, I do rate this high. I am trying to remove my bias and I'm going to try and explain why I'm giving it such a high score. But environment, I'm giving a 20. Market board access, I'm only giving a 7. And isolation, I'm giving it a 20 as well for a total score of 47. And yes, you heard that right. I gave a goblet house a 47. Because there are things that I look for in a house. And this one gave me all of it. Well, most of it. I mean, the market board sucks, but we will get into that soon. So in terms of the environment, flat out, like when I was starting in this video, I was talking about that windmill with the Zelda tower and that castle vibe. Look up here. I love this view. You get this personal waterfall that is just fully in your view, and it just leads into this massive body of water that just gushes everywhere. 
I love that. And then you have like the rain pour, and then you have the windmill turning. And it's just like, okay, someone turned on the Zelda music, the Song of Storms. I love it. I love it so, so, so much. And then in terms of the mountain range, I mean, you have bar none the best mountainscape range. And me, as someone near the Rockies, I live for this. I love it. It's just like, l take a look at this view. You see all of those mountains all off into the distance. You see the plateaus and the platforms just ending and then just this like trailing mountains off into the distance. And the mountains you can see all the way around your house. I mean, the windmill tower does block it a bit, but don't tell me that that's not super duper cool because that, like as someone that like, likes mountains, I think that's so cool. And then talking kind of about like the view onwards, it's just like you get a perfect view of like the core of this housing district. Like, I, I mean, yes, could someone go a Paisa house and make it a little unsightly? They could try, but you know what? We see this one Paisa house in the distance. How small are they? It's just like, even when I was like doing, even as I'm doing the audio right now, it's just like, yeah, I see it, but that's because I'm explicitly looking for it. Otherwise, it's just like, just another notch in my bed. No, I can't say that, no. But, uh, yeah, basically, I love it. And then, let's talk about nighttime, actually, with that view. I think the nighttime view is stunning. I mean, you have this, like, lion statue just glow up, and you have, like, the pools glow up. You have all these lights light on. And, I mean, that includes light posts around your house, too. So, I mean, let's keep that in mind, but we're gonna get into that in a bit. And I, I just love the view. It's just, like, you cannot ask for a more king of the hill feeling than this i mean i get perfect mountainscape i get perfect view of the entire district well other than a few of the houses off to the side but we don't care about them <laughs> and then in terms of the castle vibe i mean look at this like big massive window to the side here on this like windmill tower i think that that's really cool you can like also see like the like uh, what do you call the fine detailing of like the guardrails I think that's so cool. I really actually do, and I love it. I love the castle vibe, and I, yeah. Also, as you kind of like go up to like the market board area, and heck, around the entire house, you get all of these like tower things around here, and I think that is super duper duper cool. I love the castle vibe, and I am absolutely getting that with this house. It's just like even around my plot in particular, you are getting like these towers on all the corners. Well, even this one in the middle here. So I mean, even more than that. And I think that that's really cool. I mean, for me, I'm, I'm getting that fantasy. And that's what I want when I pick this house. It's just like, I want an environment where it's just like, I can just be smothered in the fantasy of like this area. It's just like, take me there. And you know what? For this one, it does. And hallelujah for that. And so when I, like for me personally, I do prefer this view of like the brimming heart with like all these lights on and like all these man-made pools and the Zelda like Song of Storms tower. I prefer that over like the massive vista that you see in the Gridania houses with like the massive water. I'll just throw a quick clip of that. That's not Goblet though. If you're looking for that, you're looking for the Lavender Beds video and I will try and link that in the description. I hope I remember. I hope I remember. I have so much more to record. I hope I remember. I'm sorry if I don't. Poke me if I forget. But, um, yeah, I, I, the environment for me is personally a 20 because this fills everything I really, really wanted. And I know you're, a lot of viewers are going to be like, you're being biased because it's your house. I mean, but there's a reason why I was choosing this plot over literally every other plot in every other district. And, yeah, I have to say environment for me is definitely a 20. Now let's talk about the marker board. This one is not a 20. See, I do not, I am lazy. I do not like walking long distances in game. I hate repeating it and as a crafter gatherer, I just don't want to deal with it. And so that's why marker board is its own kind of thing is because it's like for me personally as someone who's played for so long, I just want the marker board close. But for this one, I made a bit of a compromise, and I'm like, okay, I can get on a mountain walk. Because you know what? You're not going to even be able to get to the market board with three dancer dashes or whatever. Or like a dragoon jump. Like, this is just too far. And so for this one, it's going to be a 7. I'm half tempted to give it a 6, because honestly, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But you know what? Having reviewed other housing districts at this point, I know that it's probably... Six-ish, seven-ish, I mean, it's not the end of the world. 
let's give it a six. Let's give it a six. Originally, I was going to give it that seven, but you know what? It, like, having it for a few weeks now, I'm just not that impressed with the mark board. It's kind of annoying. But, like, obviously, it's not the end of the world. It's, like, it's just one of the things that you have to compromise. Um, and then isolation. Isolation with this house after everything that you've seen. How high do you think I'm going to give it? Because, I mean, we even have a demo Paisa house perfectly plotted in the distance. For me, I am really going to be giving it a 20. For me, I don't want a Paisa house in my face. It's just like, even take, like, uh, okay, let's go all the way around the house. So to the back of my house, yeah, you have this medium plot here. You have this other medium plot here. They have this other medium plot here. Most people who get a medium plot actually care, especially on Gilgamesh, because it's just like, you know that you had to fight tooth and nail for that house. Like, Housing Savage was freaking real. I mean, I actually have a bit of a story that I can say on that, but this video is already going to be probably well over half an hour, I'm sure. But you're generally not going to get people that are going to like, oh yeah, I'm going to make a Grandma Namazu house. I Unless they're gonna do that to spite me. I hope that I'm enough of a nobody that no one around me ever finds out how much I don't like Pice and Gram and Amazu. <laughs> but it's just like, even these, even if these people did, even if they did, and they like did go full Pice, like full Gram and Amazu. Oh god, are we gonna make that a thing? Full Gram and Amazu? Oh god. <laughs> but even if they did, it's just like my main view is going to mostly be this castle as I'm going to the market board, and it's going to be this massive overarching King of the Hill Vista with like the Braving Heart and all that. So in reality, when am I looking behind me? When are any of these houses going to impact me? I mean, uh, like this other house that is the one that could come closest to in my face is elevated, and I see the back of it. So even if you're a Pisces house, okay, there's a bit of a brown blob there. I mean, can you? Maybe you could try and place Gram and Amazu in this little corner, but I I think it might actually be too small to do that. I mean, you can try, but maybe you yeah you could probably fit a few on the stack here. But my point is like, it would take a hell of a lot of effort and someone like intentionally trying very hard to do that to do that, and. I'm not really worried about that, it's just like, even if they did, even if they did, it's not obstructing this view, it's not obstructing my view of the mountain range, it is not something that I am really, like, that concerned with when I'm going to the market board. And so, isolation, I don't think it's unfair when I give this a 20, and I think that, like, when I give, like, such a high score, it's like, I, again, like, I want to say, like, I'm trying not to be biased, but it's like, I chose this one because I really freaking hate Pison, Grandma Namazu, never go full, Grandma Namazu, never go full, Grandma Namazu, but I chose it because of that reason, and I think that that fits the bill, I really do. And so kind of like adding all that up, I'm going to be giving the environment a 20, I'm going to be giving the market board a 7, I kind of want to give it a 6, but I like the number 47. <laughs> And then isolation of 20, and so that adds up for a total of 47. And again, I know people are probably like, what the heck, a 47 in a goblet? I mean, I just tried to explain it as well as I could. I hope I'm not being biased. But yeah, I love it. Love it. I think that this is a fantastic plot, and I am so glad that I got it. Now it is time to talk about our last large in here, and that is plot 30. And so the environment score, I gave a 6. Marker board is 9, and then isolation is a 2 leading to a final score of 17. But now let's kind of get into why. So in terms of the environment, I do definitely love the view of the mountains here. I really do. You get a fantastic view looking outwards. But that's about the only view that I really feel is stunning. I mean, you can also look when you're going up to the market board and you get some of these castle windows. And I think that that is super cool. You can also kind of like see like these giant tree tops in the bottom and when it's like cloudy weather actually maybe i should start recording right now i i'm recording the audio and video separate so so like in the footage that i just finished recording i'm so sorry i literally stopped to record that you can see like clouds and like the fog like just like completely submersing like the bottom and i think that that's so cool i mean 
The weather is clear skies as you can see in the mini map, but it's like you see this fog and I still think that that's super duper cool. Like you can see these massive treetops, you can see them in the mountains. And so you know what, if you are after that view, you definitely get it. There's no, there's no question about that. But like kind of where my issues with the environment lie is that you, like you look up to the side and then you see like this castle pathway, but you see it's just so bland. That's my issue, I think, with it. It's just like when you looked at my plot, you saw like that clock tower. And I think that that was so cool. I mean, you can still see it. Like, let's be fair. You can still see some of the clock tower from this angle. And I think that that's cool. I love the clock tower. You can see some different, like a different angle of it with like the different window decorations. Like, I'm not trying to lambast this house or like shame it or anything. I think that the environment's still good. But you see, the immediate thing is just so plain it's just like i would have liked to like them to really play into that like castle fantasy with like guards patrolling like more windows along the entire thing and or like maybe like uh like some kind of pool water fountain i mean when it comes to kind of like the goblet being a little stale for some people i think that this house definitely is starting to approach that point and that's a little bit worrisome I mean, it's not something that, yeah, I really, yeah, unfortunately, that's just all I can really say on that. It's just, it's coming to the point where this large is the closest thing to kind of like the goblet stereotype. I mean, do you still see this tree hanging on for dear life? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely do. I mean, you still definitely get some of that vibe. You still get your own personal bridge. So, like, the environment is definitely a solid seven, but compared to, like, my plots, I don't really think that it holds a candle like it's good it's super good but eh. in terms of market board access though this house has to be beat it's so much easier to get to this market board I, I i actually feel jealous so market board i'm gonna be giving it a nine because it's so close like don't tell me it's not close because that's i'm jealous i'm jealous i would save like probably five minutes of every day for me just walking back and forth uh and next thing is let's talk about isolation and for isolation this is one where i feel torn because you get your own private bridge down here awesome that is great you have elevation and a bit more distance intentionally put there and that is fantastic my problem is you have a house right here and these neighbors oh my gosh you can see clearly they love each other it's just like they're 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 environmental like what like their decorations outside obviously make this pathway and so these neighbors love each other this is sweet this is awesome and i'm super happy for them but big but to um how to say it if they don't like you oh my god <laughs> that will be a disaster like they could stack freaking grandma namazoos for days and i mean you could too but as the house that's at a higher elevation, they have much more of an opportunity to kind of like screw with you than you do screw with them. Because like, if you're taller than them, eh, I'm a Lala Fell, I'm not going to look up. <laughs> I mean, that's the mentality of a lot of them though. But it's just like, it's right at your doorstep. And then you look up here to the market board, you get another small house here. Remember that these are smalls and... I hate to say it, but we all know probably from experience, you're much more likely to get a troll small house <laughs> than a troll medium or large. I mean, at least based on personal experience, and yes, I have troll <laughs> smalls, unfortunately. <laughs> In the past though, thankfully, as you can see, I, I just, I was just like, heck, isolation matters the most to me, get me out of this. But, um, yeah, for isolation, I can't say that I'm impressed. I mean, heck, even in the, like, in front of you, you can see the Spice House in the distance. This is getting a two for isolation, and I don't think that's unfair. I, it's just like, you, th thank God it has the private bridge. Thank God it has some elevation differences to it. But, oof. Oof. And so kind of as a recap, we are looking at an environmental score of a 7, we're looking at market board of 9, and we're looking at an isolation of 2 for a total score of 18. Uh, actually let's, mm, I'm kind of torn to bump up the environmental score. Okay, let's bump up the environmental score to a 
And so that is going to lead us to a final score of 18.5. I'm actually going to sneak it in a 0.2 because it does have a view of the lighthouse. But still, I cannot be giving it more than this because uh, it's just, it could be better. It could really be better. So now the large plots are done, so let's start talking about mediums, starting with plot 4. And so for her, the environment is going to be given a 6, market board access a 6, but in isolation is going to be a staggeringly high 15, giving it a total score of 27. So let's get into why I've given it this score. So in terms of the environment, you are definitely getting a great view of this mountain range along here. You are able to see a bunch of trees just hanging off the side, and you are able to look down into the canyon that basically like goes off into nowhere. And so there's no doubt if mountains, if canyons, and if the roadways are your thing, you're going to love it. But again, we have another caravan path, and again, I really need to emphasize like if the developers ever do go back to like amp up the housing districts. I have to say that adding like a caravan that's just walking by and like delivering goods or like traveling shopkeepers, I think that that would add so much to this view and I think that that would be really cool. But again, like mountains, canyons, bridges, these are all going to have to be your things to really, really enjoy this. And one other thing that I'm going to absolutely have to say is, bar none, really exciting is, remember how for the large plot I was talking about like this RP kind of like tunnel underneath the entire warding area so you are right beside that now and so if you want to feel like that like we're the police officers of like this underground pathway kind of thing like you can absolutely do that and so i know that a lot of people are going to have a lot of fun with this so aside from that though there's not too too much to look at environment wise so mountains, caravan pathways, and being like this RP tunnel underneath, which I think is super duper cool. If that's what you're into, then you're really going to love this house, no doubt. Now let's get into market board access. For this house in particular, unfortunately, you are going to have to travel a very, very, very long distance. And I mean, I guess if you leap over the fence, it's not too bad. But to me, it's a little bit of a distance. Actually kind of reeling back to the environment you kind of have like this planter in front of your place with like your seating area so actually I'm going to revise that and I'm going to give it a 7 for the environment because I do think that this is one that people will definitely enjoy and yeah anyhow back to market board access the market board access is just really kind of unforgivable in this position it's just But yeah, in terms of market board access, I really can't be giving it a high score because that's unfortunately very inconvenient to run away from. But let's talk isolation. For this plot, you have I mean, you, yeah, you have a neighbor, but they are super elevated. You have a tunnel between you and them. You have your entire front like balcony area, sitting area with like this bush here. Honestly, when push comes to shove, you are super isolated with this house. I mean, yeah, you have a small when you need to go to the market board that you're going to pass. But even then, after you pass that, there's no one around you. It's just a bunch of space and just like a bunch of like trees, canyons, valleys, mountains. And so in terms of isolation, when it comes to isolation for a medium blot, this is spectacular. This is definitely, in my opinion, deserving of the 15. And so for plot 4, I'm going to give the environment a 7. I'm going to give the market board access a 6. Mm, is that too generous? It might be, but I'll stick with it. And then I'm going to give the isolation a 15 for a total score of 28. So pretty good. Now we are on to plot 6, and this is giving an environmental score of 15, a market board score of 6, and then an isolation score of 15 for a total of 36 points. And again, that might seem really high, but listen to, like, I'm going to try and, like, explain why I gave it so high. So if I had to say a medium plot was like a slightly, slightly downgraded version of my plot, this would be it. You get that view of that beautiful windmill and you, it's just like, you get these castle vibes still. Like you have all these towers around you. You are basically in an enclosed area. You get the castle windows all around you and it is just such a cool vibe to be around. It's just like you're in a part of this castle and while you might be, like, you are definitely, with this plot, near the center of the district where it's, like, supposedly crowded, but 
still you're like just submerged in like this castle environment and you get this view of like the king of the hill just looking on into the brimming heart you can see all the water you can see the waterfall you can see the far mountainscape it's just a slightly degraded view from what i myself get and so i have to say that in terms of the environment it's spectacular it's an easy 15 in my mind at least now let's kind of talk a little bit about the market board because that is where things start to get a bit painful so you need to go all the way up these stairs you can just cross the lily pad thing and then you are at the market board here but yeah this market board section i have to say it's very nice that you have your kind of like own market area it's just like kind of your own area to like just escape and chill in not really probably you're probably just gonna whip in and whip out to be honest but the idea of being in Ulda and having like this market board area, yeah, I think it's really cool. I do like that fantasy. And now let's talk about the isolation. Oh, before I leave the market board section though, I do want to say like a major downfall is like it's super far away from the house and so similar to my plot, you're going to probably be very frustrated with that unfortunately. Now let's talk about isolation. For this house, it is, it's really, really similar to mine in that the isolation, it's like you are also at a lower elevation than a lot of the other houses around you that would be in your view. And so they're really, in reality, pretty much blocked off. Like you have this carbuncle house here, but it's like, they're so out of view that it's like, whatever. Then you have another house that's like at a super high elevation compared to yours. But that being said, it's, it's again, kind of like, meh not it's not that big of a deal really and then like most of your view is like pretty much unobstructed aside from my house but you're looking at the back end so it's like even if i did go paisa house which remember like a large house is much less likely to go paisa with like evil grandma namazu so you're pretty much safe in my opinion I'd say that in terms of isolation for a plot especially one that's closer to the center like this isolation is super high so I'm gonna be giving that a really 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 good score of 15 and so as a recap we are given the environment a score of 15 market board of 6 isolation of 15 for a total of 36 points so really good so now let's talk about plot 8 and so this one the environment score I'm giving a 5 Market board access is being given a 9.5 because it's really ridiculously close. And isolation is given a 6 for a total score of 20.5. So starting off with the environment, you are unfortunately in like kind of like surrounded by a lot of people, so you don't have too much. You're not really in the brimming heart. You have a bunch of houses kind of obstructing your view of the mountainscape, so you can't really even say that you have the mountainscape kind of like to like be a main selling feature i mean yeah if you go to the back of the house or like around a pathway you absolutely can see it but you do have like these lily pad gardens all around you and i think that that really does add a lot as well as you have this beautiful market board area that i keep referencing it's kind of funny to say because with the goblet and this is something that i should actually say later but you probably noticed that a lot of the mediums and a lot of the larges are very very close packed together and it's almost like they have the like gated community almost of like the largest and mediums and then like all the rest because they just like packed all these mediums together all and larges because mine's in here too and then this other large all in the same area and they're like meh this is the gated community but does that really change the environment i mean it might be a little meta it might be a little fourth wall breaking but kind of <laughs> is that terrible to say probably but in terms of it i mean your environment it's not the best it's like you don't get the brimming heart water you don't get the mounds but you do get some lily pads you do get like that market board it's okay it's okay but in terms of the market board area what i will say is that this is disgustingly close to your house like it is basically on your front doorstep i don't know if you could try and put a like um a trellis or some kind of walkway or some kind of like uh, outdoor furnishing basically to like jump up on and get back into your yard but basically if you can strip down over this wall which I'm pretty sure you could then basically you're literally just 
on the market board. And so, easy 9.5, easy 9.5. It's not quite there, I'll say give it a 10, but really good. And then isolation, and this is why I say that the goblet I think had a lot of planning done into it. Because by all accounts, if we were in Shirogane, this would just be so packed together. But with the goblet, you have padding from the market board on this side, you have a different elevation with the small behind you, you have this lily pad pond kind of shifting the house in front of you, quote unquote in front of you, to the side of it, and you, you even have a bench in front of it. And then the large, which is mine, you see the back end of, so even if I did go Paisa house, you have a bit of mercy. And then you have like this angle here, just wedged between here, as well as of course like the walkways. And so you get a lot of breathing room for being a house basically surrounded on literally all sides by houses. And so isolation, it's really not too bad. It's really not too bad. And so environment score is going to be a 5. Then I am going to give the market board axis a 9.5 and isolation a 6 for a total score of 20.5. So now let's talk about plot 11. And so it gets an environment score of 8, market board axis of 5, and then an isolation of 4 for a total score of 19. So for this house, you get an extremely, extremely good view of the mountain range because it's literally on your back step. You also get a gorgeous view of the canyon and are able to look at kind of like this downward path like if you look here it's kind of like if you could like jump or like if flying was enabled you could go down in there and like i'm kind of curious like where does that lead to and so likewise that can lead to a ton of rp opportunities such as maybe your fc is doing like a huge um dig or archaeological like uh, dig whoops just like checking things out and being like hey we're gonna like dig up dinosaur bones or something in like this unlocked area or like dragon bones I guess because Final Fantasy but you get kind of what I mean so I think that that's definitely something that could be played up and then from two you're kind of well facing from this way to your left you basically get this own little seating area and you get a little bit of flowers actually on the hill here I think that that's actually really cool to note because there aren't too too many flowers in this area but again, looking from even this angle, you do get like a castle window. So that adds on a little bit of the castle to that aspect. And then you just look off into this distance. You can see like that little cliffside, little uh, seating area. And then you can see that giant castle tower with the windmill around it. And I think that that's honestly really cool. I definitely can say that the environment's not too bad. In terms of market board access, unfortunately, there's no real great way to get around either you go to the one market board that's kind of like that main area or you're going to be heading over all the way to the apartment building to the same market board that i go to which is all the way over here and in fact this house is maybe even a little longer to get there than me so not that good and then in terms of isolation unfortunately you have a small here you have a medium basically right in front of you and it's not it's not the worst because as i said it's like the, like when someone has a medium like this person clearly put an effort into their house like they're not gram and namazus and pisces and likewise you're looking at the back of this medium too again though like the angle around that medium really helps like the angles i have to say are also pretty good for this one so i can't like say isolation is totally ruined but because you have that neighbor basically in your front yard it's it's not as good as it could be let's put it that way and so for this house environment is an eight market board access is a five and then isolation is a four for a total score of 19. still that's not too too bad so let's talk about plot 12. so obviously the environment is going to be the same as the last one because it's literally basically the same area market board access is going to be basically the same because it's in the same area I mean maybe it's a little better but it's the same area and isolation suffers from a little less of the same issue though so the so environment I'm not gonna go over market board access I'm not gonna go over that's just gonna be a six and then isolation is ugh, looking at it it's just like you are a little more offset from this other house and then your view is basically like looking into the mountainscape in the canyon which I think is really cool. 
and like just looking off to the side here so in reality the only thing really 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 getting in your view is going to be this medium that i was just talking about before so and i mean they are kind of in your front yard but to a lesser degree because you're more offset if that makes any sense and yeah that's about all i can really say for this i mean the marker board is still not that good so i'm gonna end up giving it an environment score of eight market board of six so only one point more because it's a little closer than an isolation score of 6.5 because i feel like the offset really does help quite a bit and so that's going to lead for a total score of 20.5 and so next for our second last medium we're going to be looking at plot 19 and so this is going to get a great score of an environment of 20 market board access of 8 and an isolation score of 10 so we're looking at a really, really good contender right now. So for environment, when it comes to the goblet, one thing that a lot of people say is that there's not too much water. Because a lot of people, surprisingly, that I talked to and have read, like, kind of responses to, they don't really know that the Brimming Heart even exists. They just assume that it's, like, all the same. But this medium plot is smack right in the man-made pool section. And so it is extremely different from all other plots and if you're really looking for a man-made water experience these are going to be the only real options that you have let's hope that they don't add too much chlorine though but basically yeah if you're looking for that you even get some people swimming in it i mean you have get the mikoiti here mikote here and like you have a golden lion spewing out water i mean haraskar had obviously a little bit too much to drink in the making of that um, you have this waterfall here, and honestly, in terms of the environment, if you're looking for man-made water, this is the only medium that really, really does offer you this. I mean, yeah, from even my large, you can look onto this, but you're not, like, in it where you can just, like, dash into the water. And in fact, this small here was my personal small for a very long time. And part of me actually really misses it because it's, like just stepping out into like this artificial like man-made thing was so cool i really loved it but other perks are that you basically get a lot of seating area around your plot you can look up at the windmill too and totally get like the zelda vibes too and and just like a lot of lanterns and lamps and yeah yucky. i mean even from this angle you it's not the best view of the mountain range but you can totally see some mountains here so i definitely have to say I'm a fan of it. The environment is definitely a really, really, really easy high score for me. In terms of market board access, it's not super close, but at the same point in time, it's not super far. Like, I can say, like, I had this, like, small for years, and it, it, it never really, really bugged me that much. It was, it was, sure, I wish it was closer, but in reality, I don't think anyone will be that bothered by the market board access with this one. Now, in terms of isolation, this is where things get a little dicey. Because it's like, obviously you're now smack in the middle of the district, and this is another reason why I say that this district, in my opinion, was for the most part really well planned out. Because it's like, yeah, you have this small here, you have another small that's a little elevated to your side too, but it's those are relatively far and they're relatively out of your view. And the angles and the pools and the waterways and everything just... They're kind of really shoving the houses away and really making a lot of space. And I think that that's a very important thing that a lot of people probably overlook. It's like, you even have this one small here that was my personal private house before. And it's like, it really doesn't feel that intrusive to me, if I'm being super honest. It's like, when it comes to isolation, is it as isolated as mine? I mean, could this person technically go buy a house? and put grandma and Amazus everywhere yeah of course they could but mm, I, i'd still say even if they did it's like you look for most of the area and you just see man-made fountains you see waterfalls you see lions barfing i really really honestly think that it's quite nice um yeah and so that's all i really have to say for this one i really do like this plot and so that leads to an environmental score of 20 a market board access of 8 and an isolation of 10 leading for a total score of 38. Now let's look at our final plot at plot 25 and it is going to get an environmental score of 8, market board access of 9 and then an isolation of 4 for a total score of 21. So I 
if you remember the large that we covered earlier, it was like the environment's okay. It's just like you obviously get a good view of like the mountain range from this angle. You get the cliffs, you get a bit of the castle. It's it has all those vibes, and I think that's good. This one, it's a little bit more blocked off in the environment, and I'm not really happy with that aspect of it. But if you remember, I was talking about like more guards, more patrols, and that. And this plot actually gets one single Rodolin, like uh, Rogadin, I mean, like officer right here outside of the like other like tunnel. And I mean, that could work for people wanting to do RP. Just like, oh, we have like this tunnel by our house and we need to protect it. Or like maybe this guard is actually like an undercover like thief or something and they're looking to like rob your house or something. I mean, the opportunities for a lot of roleplay with this one are actually very high in my opinion just because it's like you don't in every housing district have like this mysterious tunnel just through it and yeah I don't know I think I'm like thinking about a uh, wild classic like Defias bandit kind of thing <laughs> but yeah um, environment I like it for that but the mountain view is sadly honestly obstructed because you have this large and this other small in front of you you get a touch of it but not as much as other ones. In terms of market board access, it's really, really good. It's really, really, really good. And now let's talk about isolation. We have a Paisa house here. And you know that I'm trying to not just give it a zero because you basically are sitting on a Paisa house. See, all they need to do is add a ton of gram and M as you hear. And then they just honestly ruin anyone's experience. I mean, it's true though, <laughs> you might disagree, but it's true though. Um, and then you have this other plot to your side. I actually really like the hedge fence. Is that new? I digress. Anyhow, you have that, then you have this large plot and small plot, and push comes to shove. I don't think that this is isolated. I think that, I mean, I should back up a bit, compared to Houses in Shiragane, this is much more isolated because it's like you have the elevation on your side, you have the angles, you have the positioning of the houses, like the Paisa house even is a little elevated and off to your side, and the other, how the other plot is kind of like pushed back into the side. And then like you have this little seating area here too, and it's like you aren't sat right on top of them, like this is not Shiragane, and it's very clear it's not. I mean, even to the other market board, it's like you have your own little path down. Although this other market board's closer, I don't know why you do, do that one, but... Isolation, I can't give it a high score. I, I'm wanting to be as fair as I can, but... I see this Paisa house, and then I wonder... Is it fair to actually give it a good score? Because, I mean, this could be you. This could be looking at you, down in your soul. No. I can't misguide you. Nope, nope, nope. Isolation. And so that's going to lead for a final score of the environment of being an 8. It's going to be a market board access of a 9 and isolation of 4, leading to a final score of a 21. So, I mean, am I being a little easier on the environment because I feel bad? Probably. I think it's okay. Yeah, let's leave it at that. I mean, if you think that the environment score is a little lower, then you can totally make that call, and that's totally okay. But that does it for kind of my, like, overview and review of, like, the houses in the Goblet. And, again, I just want to say, like, there is a lot of good in here, and this is actually where my top house pick was, and I'm very, very, very happy with the plot that I got. And I think that this is a housing uh, area that is, like, very much overlooked and not really given a chance and i think that that's actually kind of a shame because you know what there is actually a lot here and a lot to work with i mean if you're sick of being like super cramped up in shirogane i'd say that hey consider a house in the goblet because i really do think that there's a lot of um i think that it's worth like a lot of people's time to like potentially check it out because it's like you this is the only area with man-made pools this is the only area with like this really big mountainscape it gives you definitely that castle vibe but like kind of like a more um Final Fantasy Tactics kind of like desert castle-y feeling 
and like a lot of cliffs a lot of like archaeological digs you get the underground like uh kind of like tunnels and i do think that there is a lot to be found here i mean what other housing district has a lion barfing or a hrothgar barfing exactly only this one hrothgar barf Oh my god, did I just make a meme? <laughs> Anyhow, Hrothgar barfing aside, or into the pool, I want to thank you all for watching and expect a lot more videos soon and I am sorry for taking that little bit of break, but I am coming back and I am coming back with the vengeance, <laughs> if I can even say that. But yeah, thank you so much for subscribing, and any likes, subscribes, comments would be super appreciated, and I'm genuinely really interested in all the comments. I do take the time to read all the comments, and I try to respond to as many as I can, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, and yeah, I really hope to hear what you think about this housing ward. Anyhow, that's all for this one.